Hey everybody, this is Second Breakfast. In this patch, I am using the Performer by ModBap Modular as a drum effect on my drum bus. All my drums are coming into this performance mixer over here and then uh, going into the Performer as well as for that going into a couple different effects buses, which I'll talk about a bit later. But um, I just wanted to talk a bit about how I'm using it and um, tell you why I think it's so cool. I have a mix of uh, pre-recorded drums, um, a little beat that is programmed in on her mod, which is coming down and uh, hitting my drums. And then I also have the Shack Matt um, Four Bricks Rook. And then um, I'm combining triggers from both places using or logic modules. Um, I just find that a really fun way to be able to add um, flourishes and kind of improvise uh, while I'm playing. On the melodic side, I just had um, a little arpeggio going. Uh, and then as, as I usually do, I'm controlling um, uh, different chord changes um, with these pressure points. So all of these different pads are different chords and I can move that around and make a chord progression to go along with uh, the rhythm that I've got going. So I really wanted to use all the different um, effects that uh, the performer offers. Um, so I was really just hitting all the buttons and doing it in kind of a, a rhythmic way. Rhythmically turning on the delay and reverb to add little accents um, and then um, throwing on the glitch every now and then as well um, is a really cool effect. And then um, I really like using the kind of getting everything on uh, and, then, uh, and then hitting that tape stop and to kind of like as a nice uh, accent uh, exclamation at the end of a bar, uh, especially right before a chord change, I think is, uh, is a really cool effect. Towards the end uh, of the set, uh, I hit these buttons here. Um, and these are uh, just, uh, you know, manual latches. Um, but uh, each of them, when I turn one on, um, that routes all my drums first into a different uh, set of modules as effects before they go into the performer. Um, this top one is uh, the drums are going into an SSF Autodyne uh, and then into a noise engineering Vial Ruina um, just for really nasty, mangled, distorted drums. Um, and then this one, uh, again, on the distorted side, um, all the drums are going into a Ritual Electronics uh, Miasma. Uh, and then into the Chaos Devices um, phaser module. Um, and I think this is really cool because um, it really showed me that uh, Performer can be used in conjunction with other effects in a chain. Um, I feel like um, it does, a lot of the effects work, work really well, um, which is adding more kind of dynamics going on before it. Um, so I really think the glitch comes to life even more. Um, and uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm really liking um, all of this together. Um, and it's great. I love the big um, arcade style buttons. Um, you know, as you probably could have told from um, the performance, like I, I've just got this, this is like my hands-on uh, control area right here. And uh, I found that um, this is a perfect spot to where I could like, uh, be adding, you know, accents and fills here um, with the shack mat, uh, getting to my chords here, uh, and then I can just easily reach up and hit any of the performer buttons. Um, so really love that, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, bringing this um, module into um, a lot of songs uh, in the future. Um, so looking forward to good things with it. Um, thanks for watching.